What is a servo? A servo is an electromechanical device with a built-in controller. That controller listens to an input signal and is able to drive the servo to the specified location. Now one of the things that makes a servo a servo is a control feedback loop. And basically that's a fancy way of saying it knows where it is and it knows where you're telling it to go. And if those two positions don't line up, it's going to drive the servo, whether it be in a linear fashion or a rotary fashion, until where it is lines up with where you're telling it to go. Servos come in all different shapes and sizes. While many of them may be rotational motion, like this servo, they certainly don't have to be. Uh, we have a few different linear servos here, and because these have an internal circuit board that's tied into the motor and the feedback loop, it's still considered a servo. Now some of you might be wondering, what about continuous rotation servos? I mean, we said that basically what part of what makes a servo a servo is that it's responding to a closed feedback loop and continuous rotation servos don't have that. Uh, they, they rotate continuously and they don't know at what degree of rotation they're at. So they don't have that closed feedback loop. And the technical answer is that they're not actually servos, but they are generally considered servos they're marketed and sold as servos, manufactured and labeled as servos within the RC and robotics industries because they're in the same size and form factor. They respond to the same kind of signals. You'd use them in the same or similar applications. And so they're kind of grouped within that um, umbrella phrase. But technically, uh, if it doesn't have a close feedback loop, it's not actually a true servo. We've mentioned that a servo responds to an input signal. Most commonly, that input signal is going to be a PWM signal. In the next video, we're going to break down what a PWM signal is.